I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. I'm showing 589. We'll start with our uh, pledge, and then Commissioner Payne. Matt. 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 Okay? Yeah. Okay. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Father in heaven, we come before you this evening in a most humble manner, asking your blessings, blessings to be upon us as we enter into this meeting. Bless us with wisdom and patience to give us the knowledge to make the best decisions for our citizens, that they may be well with each person and we may live in peace and harmony one with the other. Forgive us tonight of our wrongs, go with us all through our life, and if it's anything we ask in Christ's name, amen. 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 Everybody answer tonight. Uh, I have you heard me? Mom, could you introduce me, Jill? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody out tonight, and uh, since that was so rudely. Uh, now I do want to introduce. We do have a new staff member, our new city clerk. Jill Barry. Uh, she made it through the first weekend working at the amphitheater at Strawberry Fest. Fest. Strawberry, Fest. Strawberry Fest and the amphitheater with uh, Blackberry Smoke. And I figured if she came back after that, she'll probably stick around for a while. Okay. So. She's good when she worked at Beaverton Elementary for a little while. She was raised out on Prince Road. We won't hold that against you. Yeah. If you went to the library, you worked there forever and ever and ever. <laughs> I was there for a long time. Yeah. The lady at the library said any task you give her, she will complete. So, there you go. Uh, how much? Welcome aboard. <laughs> Get this rope fixed out here. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> Mercy. My dad laughed whenever I told him I had a meeting tonight. He laughed at me. Because you had a meeting? Yeah. I guess he thought that's what we'd be hearing about. That's probably what we'd be hearing about. <laughs> All right. First, first item is approval of minutes. Motion. Motion. Everybody just talk at once. Go ahead. I'll just raise a second. Ah, boy. Can I have a motion, a second, for this discussion? Those in favor, see by the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. Do we pay all the bills? Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, see by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Old business. First item is the 2022-2023 budget amendment, second reading. And that's what Larry handed out. Yes, as you can see, the uh, general uh, the general fund was increased uh, from 2.8 million to 3.1 million. Uh, some of that was ARP money. Uh, restaurant tax was more. I mean, we had a really good year. Things been flying well. With that being said, we also had more on expenses. Uh, Back out the parking lot at the baseball park, which the ARP paid for a portion of that. And we got grant money. And we got grant money coming in. We, that'll probably be in the budget for 23-24. Uh, fire department had a little bit of an increase uh, on expenditures. Sanitation had an increase on uh, income and expense. Uh, the water fund as well. The expense on the water fund was the, the bid that come in a little higher on the 231 water line project, which I would like to announce is complete. Hopefully, no more leaks on 231. We still have some cleanup to do. Mm -hmm. That's in their bid part. They do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the water line work. I think they sent two hydrants. They reset two hydrants today. So they just. Did they, did they move them across the room? Yes. That's my call to thank me for that. Well, we, did, we don't have to save money on top of that. So. Well, somebody called to thank me for it. And I'm like, huh. Didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. I didn't know that was in the blank. Yep. So, that this this here, the notice, this will be what we're doing in the paper. In case anybody asks questions, you can raise one of what we're doing. I make a motion we approve the second reading of the budget minute. Second. Yes. Motion is second. Those in favor, see you on the high. Opposed, sign. Motion passes. Okay, the next item is the second reading of the 2023 2024 budget. Only one change that was done there that Kevin Davis had called last time on Mitch Brown. I failed to move. If, if you looked on his last year pay, it was showing that it was higher than what his this year pay was. That was another oversight because at that point somebody else was put in that spot that Mitch was there. So it's changed. I've done a handout for you. Uh, some of the highlights of, of the new budget that we'll be doing this year will be do, uh, getting another uh, new police vehicle. Uh, fire department, we're going to finish up on their uh, SCBAs. 
uh, road fund. We are going. We did blacktop in, in 2022, so I have three hundred thousand dollars for blacktop. Mm. So we need to get a list together pretty soon. Mm. This guy's been paying. Uh, got in there. I do uh, truck to the water department. Uh, the park. I've got some information on some handicap accessible playground equipment. Uh, would like somebody to help me pick something out, or actually pick it out and just put it yeah. we, We've been talking about that for a while. Yes. We need to get busy on yes. that one. Who was there? Was a somebody from the community that was very. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Uh, over we've got that already. Yes. Alley, yes. Uh, there was new, new. There's another one. Yes. Yeah, she, she's she's the one got me the information. So. Okay. Oh, perfect. So. Good. Okay. How much do we have to spend on that, you think? Well, I mean, it's expensive. I, I, I know. I was thinking between thirty dollars and $50,000. I know it's a big range, but that's not a whole lot neither. Mm -hmm. No, for playground so equipment. No, no. Then we'll very far. Yeah. That's the sad part. Can we get a grant on any of that? I don't know. Possibly, but it'd probably be two years getting it. I know. That's a sad thing. Right thing. How more did they get all their money for their big board? Land water grant. Jeez. Was it $2 million or something like that? They had to match it. But more would it end up being four million dollars? No, they had to come up with half of it. The oh, grant was the other thing. Okay. But Morgantown has a two percent income tax on top of their like a, restaurant tax, really, and property tax, and insurance oh. premium tax. So I don't feel so bad. I didn't know they had income tax. Yeah, and the Butler County's got a more. Well, I will say their park is beautiful. Have you seen it lately? Have you been up and looked at it? I haven't been since it's been. It's amazing. amazing. They have spent a ton of money. I give them credit. They spent a bunch of money. My cousin is the Larry Carter there. Brad, do you know Brad? Do you know? Well, I'll be there this year. <laughs> okay. Make a motion. We need to see. We need a motion. Not ready. We already did that, didn't we? Did we vote on them? Yeah, we did. Did, did we, we vote on this one here? For the budget? For the budget? You did the budget? Jill said the budget. I thought, yes. I thought we did the second one. The budget, yes. Okay. That's what I thought. We were yeah. just discussing. You started talking about some of the highlights of it, right? Yeah. Okay, go down the new business. First item is the lift, Hux, Hux lift station. Hux lift station. Okay, we have a contract year to year with them. Uh, it is a $12,000 contract to where the city, if, if there's any maintenance the city provides, uh, whether it's rebuild pumps, whether it's cleaning lift stations, provide manpower. Uh, this, with everything getting older and aging, it's one more time requirements for us. Uh, I would love for the city to either not honor the contract, let them find someone else, or up the price. To what? Fifteen or sixteen thousand. I mean it's just we probably spent five or six thousand dollars in, in fees just having it pumped out with the shop towel issue they had out there. You know, and the, the pumps now when you replace the pumps, you know, they're about seventy five hundred dollars a piece. So you, you can get in you can get into a losing proposition real quick. Or we like write the language where if we're going to charge seven, uh, twelve thousand dollars, that any pump replacement, pump rebuilding, that they're responsible. It just or have them pay for the cleanup when they do the the cattle shop. It's pass. just getting not feasible for us. Is there going to have to make the proposal to them to see if they'll? Is go there for a private entity that does that? Or I'm, I'm sure there's there's some money. Money. I'll be yeah. having anybody right here. Yeah. Yeah. Barrel Leach, he takes care of one for uh, or he's getting yeah, he's not a little here. elder. He takes care of one for. Uh, Thomas Industry, uh, of a station. Uh, Danny Peach, I don't know if he would do anything like that, and he does a lot of work, but it's it's just getting to a point it's more than we can. We're getting able to bear. Yeah. Can Jim and I sit down and talk and discuss some things for the yeah. contract? And yeah, we can do that. Uh, I, don't I mean, do we have to be liable for that lift station? I don't. We don't have to. We don't have to. No, they. But they. they were, we have asked ever to. since they've had one. We've always done this, and they've paid for. It. I mean, they've not. Yeah. They do a contract, and some years we may not spend anything on it, and make money off of it. But that's not an everyday thing. Yeah, we need to look at how far we need to. What we need. You know, and I, and I wouldn't be opposed to time and material, you know, they were be responsible for all the maintenance and then anything above a certain amount of hours, you know, they reimburse us for them because, you know, there's there's times out there I've got three guys out there for two days straight. Mm -hmm. Then you get your electrician calls, we got to call, you know, call in. And it's, it's just... We're probably going to get with them. That, that might be a, 
that might be the best route to go is, is, a, is a rate plus time and material. Hmm. And we, we could we could actually lower our rate then. Yeah. And let them do, you know, take care of the billing, man, the billing side of it or whatever. That might work out better for us in the long run. Yeah. I don't want to leave mine dry. Yeah. You know, can't that. Yeah. You know. So they, they still get me come out okay on that. Yeah, there would be years where if they didn't have to do anything to the pump or something, they'd come out ahead. They'd pay us twelve thousand a year. Well the pump's about a yearly thing as, as far as either pulling or rebuilding or uh, you may not have, you know, if you get by with just rebuilding, you're probably talking twenty five, twenty six hundred dollars. But still another seven thousand dollars to clean it out. Uh, just wondering how many times they got to come and bump it. You know, he's come, he comes from Wolfsburg also. Hmm. So y'all are going to take care of that and get that started? Yes. Okay, the next item is code enforcement board. I'm sorry. Uh, Thank you, sir. What this, what I've got, what you got from the code enforcement board is made up back in, I think, 2006 or seven is when this was done, right? You may can tell me the date for sure. I don't know. But for it's some reason, it was very strange. Day. The way it was set up, it was set up to have five board members and then two alternates. And then two alternates couldn't vote unless a board member wasn't there. It was just really, so what I'm proposing to do is what's on red, these are the, the areas within the ordinance that would be required changes. What's red is coming out and what's bold is going in. Does that make sense? The creation of membership, we're taking out five members and two alternates and adding not more than seven members, which is what we've got now. Uh, I took out the for at least one year prior to the creation of the board because that would have meant they'd had to be in the resident city in 2006. And that was just when that was put in. I'm sure no one even caught that or thought about it, but I'm trying to clean it up too. Um, the appointment of members, of course, I took out it's in there that the mayor appoints the members at the city commissioner's approval, but I took out the part about the two alternates. Uh, the ordination of the board meetings and quorum, the affirmative vote of a quorum of the board shall be necessary, or you say of a majority or a quorum of the board. And then a quorum uh, used to say a presence of three or more members, but now it says that the quorum would be a majority of the existing membership of the board. So for some reason we were have two members drop off, and it's down to five members, a quorum would be three instead of four. That way it would keep the board operating. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And then that last item, again, there was a lot, a lot about the enforcement proceedings and how the citations are written. So the bold part was where we're putting in there any property related issues. That's spelled out under the ordinance 31323, which was the uh, property maintenance code. But the following requirements would govern all other enforcement proceedings, which I talked to David a little bit about they're trying to come up with what some of them may be. And the one thing we came up with business license or, or something that was code you know one of our ordinances it was not property related so we thought we needed to leave that in there but i would like to entertain a motion to accept to make these changes and i've got the old ordinance here if someone wants to if y'all want more information on what uh -huh. i think you got some good ideas is with the rest of it i move to approve the code enforcement board uh, amendments or code uh -huh. enforcement changes i second that we have a motion and a second any further discussion those in favor, saying about the house. Post saying that passes. Uh, then I have one more thing I'd like to ask the board's approval. I've talked to uh, Jeanette Render with Render Landscaping and got a quote to maintain the uh, landscaping down here at the corner of Highway 62 and Main Street where the murals are at. She would come in probably twice a month and, and keep it looking good. Seven hundred and fifty dollars a year. Wow. Not bad at all. Now, that does not include the one-time cleanup for the first one. And that's how we got started She's on it. It's worth it. I've realized all of our park myrtles died this one. Uh, now, there, I only lost home. one at home. So and it's coming back. Yeah. And all of ours are coming back from the rootstock. I it. So I talked to her and asked her about going in and cutting all the dead out. Mm -hmm. And she's going to she's on vacation right now but she gave me this quote for the maintenance annual maintenance that this thing come in and the other will be a time of material That's on the ones see. at the corner and then the ones at the park getting all of the crepes the you know the dead stuff cut out so the new stuff can take over years ago she talked to me about it and i said do it 
She said, what if I get caught? And I said, just tell them I told you to do it. Well, she did our plan for us out front here. Yeah, and I'm, I'm waiting on a quote now to yeah. do some concrete yeah. curbing work out there. For, yeah. We need to form a motion. For an edge. Was, if I've only done the motion, yes. And she's Ms. Renfro, what was her name? Ms. Render. Render. I make a motion to hire Ms. Renfro to take the maintenance down here on the corner. So it's June 231. Second. Got a motion and a second for the discussion. Those in favor say about that. Not that. Both say. Motion passes. Some down there working those days. And so some working those days straight in there. I don't mean that's pretty neat. Don't need that. Can you do that? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, everything seems to be running relatively smooth considering all the construction we got going on. Do a free, I do want to say I thank you guys for your prayers. Uh, uh, missed the last meeting because I had a mild heart attack that day, and I am doing quite well. To be honest with you. Yeah. I talked to you that when you said, "Oh, nothing major. I'm just going to be there tonight." And I find out I'm just talking about mild heart attack. Nothing yeah, major. And the, the one that would have hit me bad was the one that hit me at two o'clock in the morning on Tuesday morning. Had I not been there. To get to get them started on it, it would it would have been bad. Mm -hmm. well, back. Me and my brother were both in there at the same time, passing each other, going for heart test. He <laughs> went in the day discount. after I did. My mm -hmm. brother Bruce. Is he from volume discount. I don't know <laughs> if they give it to us or not. They should have. All right, <clears throat> Sandy. I don't have a lot either. I've been wrangling grandkids since school's been out and figuring out how to be the mom of an 18-year-old again. <laughs> but um, the one thing I did think of, and it, I drive by there quite often as I'm bypassing, the buildings at Oldham. I know, was it last year we talked about those maybe coming down? Because they look... We talked about it as, as far as... It's so bad. Talk. Apparently. Yep. So I was wondering... Well, we need to do a whole, whole renovation of Oldham, and I don't know what, we're, what direction we're going to go because we haven't really decided yet. We There's several things we'd like to do. I, I'd hate to get rid of the softball field, baseball field, whatever you want to call it, but not hardly anybody uses it anymore. We need to, I think we need to go in a different direction. Convert it to something useful. Something useful, something that we use, and when, that's something that we... Could soccer fit in there anywhere? It could, but it'd be tight because the water, uh, the the... The well. well, is right, mm -hmm. just right in the wrong place. It was yeah. 50 feet over to the left or the right, it would be right. Yeah. But so I know that I used to practice it, It's not, it's something. not the best. Well, that's where that's football good. field, soccer field, now they're, they're supposedly this football's got taken care of because they're getting that last or turf or large yeah. or turf or something, so that's supposed to help them out. But still, it well, would help for the junior to, leagues and stuff. Do you need to kind of move forward on that because it, well, it, it's not looking any prettier. Again, if we can figure out which way we're going, and again, I think we can, but there's a lot of different ways we can go. And, and I don't know if we want to put it there or put it down the other park, or are we going to move everything down to the other park? And do we want to keep that one doing something like that, soccer or something? Or Definitely. I feel like we need to keep it. Okay. I don't think there's anybody doing it here, but a lot of, a lot of areas they're going to adult kickball of all things. Well, and then there's a, a, fris was a Frisbee golf. There's all kinds of different things they're doing. I mean, it's crazy what's going on out there. Pickleball. I hate to say that, but... <laughs> Cannon's favorite sport. Uh, no, I'm being honest. I had, I had nothing but praises over our pickleball courts. So they, and and they, they, they want more, and I agree with it, but we everybody that comes from out of town that I talk to love our pickleball courts. They absolutely think they're the greatest things in the world. They can't believe we got those. And that's a that was a... Just them figuring out what was right and doing it. That's exactly. Can I what speak up? You can go right ahead. I'll let you. Bowling Green, yeah, Owensboro, St. Louis, jealous. Paducah, well, Louisville, any everybody's coming in here. Just jealous, and that's the only thing I I didn't come to talk about pickleball. <laughs> but they, they, you've got some excellent courts. Uh, people love it. A lot of people just love coming to Beaver Dam. Yeah. I mean, that's and. A lot of the Owensboro people, to them it's a vacation to come down here. So that's all I was going to say. And what he said 
brings it back to what I said. Those people are coming and they're so impressed, and if they turn their head that way, they're moving. Again, that's that's another reason I'd like to get it fixed, but yeah. I want to do it something nice. But regardless too. of what we do, with those buildings removed, it would definitely look better. It would give us more room, but again, we're gonna if we did do something in our bike, a soccer field, we'd have, still have to have a concession stand of some kind or something. Is that one? Well, that concession yeah, stand, I don't think it's got the whole work. The bathrooms okay. might be salvaged. Well, I don't know, but the concession stand. I, I think the bathroom need to be tore down completely, too. I, I think we just need to start over down there. And I know... I, 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 hey, listen, I just will tell you, to fix the ones we got would be more than, I think, build the new ones. I'm I, honest I, when I, I say that. I can't believe that. We just quoted some new ones. I still <laughs> see <laughs> shock I don't know. Those, those are in pretty bad shape. So just every every few months, I just need to say, where are we on the buildings at Oldham? <laughs> yeah, join in with everybody else and ask me about stuff like that. Right. I hate, I do hate it when I drive by there because it's like. Rrr. I would like to get the baseball field taken out and done something to it, but I don't know what we could put in its place. And that's the get the fences out, get the buildings down, and then have an open field, and then decide what we're going to do with it. Well, if we tear it down, it's not going to cost that much, is it, Larry? Uh, it'd be fifteen twenty thousand dollars anyway. But you think it would be clean all that up? Yeah. For the buildings and, and okay, the just okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying just the no, 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 no. buildings and fences and everything. Would you use the fence anywhere else? No, it's obsolete. It's uh, Darrell East was it in back in ninety two or ninety three when I, I know it's always the hills, but I'm just saying it could be used. It's, it's, it's obsolete. From the police standpoint, buildings need to be cut down. I think so too. I, th I think man, somebody's going to get hurt out there. Every it. building down there needs to be taken down. It's a, it's a danger. It is. And, and you think the toilets should be taken down too? All of them should be taken down. Thank you. Well, <laughs> that's what I think. We, we can't take the building down with a toll thread. That is the power source for oil. Okay. But if the building came down, could something be constructed to contain that power source? You're talking a whole lot more money. Let me ask you this, Larry. Could do away with the bathroom because they're not fit for anything except for people just going there and do things they don't need to be doing. Correct. And build something, leave that there, and renovate that a little bit enough for what you need. Well, you can renovate it for, for what? Can we move it down your, by? For your whatever is protected. Larry, could we move the, the electrical box down by the pump? Yeah. Oh, yes, you could. Mm -hmm. it would it be that much more? It would be a whole lot of different things. We have to build a building for yes. three things? Oh, I didn't know you had that. Yeah, it's got all the controls in there. And that center part. Remember, that's what we had trouble when they were... Yeah, I know. The lights off and I, I turn the water the pump off. Turn the pump off every time. Yeah, I know. We'll work on that. I mean, the building, it's, it's a block building. It's the it's it's interior walls, walls block? Yes. Okay. Structurally, it's a sound building. And you know it could be whatever you decide to put there. It could be for uh, housing of equipment, utensils, or, or whatever on each side. Yeah, that's why I hate it. Just to turn. Yeah, it I would like to paint it. Yes. Okay. What color? Not that blue. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy will work on that. I don't shoot gray. Bill? Paint a battleship gray. I, I would like that. That'd be nice. Not quite that dark, right. but. It, like gray. <laughs> so, do, you put gray? <laughs> do you put anything with gray? Oh, yeah, anything else? And we probably could get, I don't know if you'd want to, but we'd probably get some volunteers to help paint because volunteers paint some kind of these buildings right over here. And one of those volunteers was just bragging the other day about what a good job they did because the paint's still she there. <laughs> she said the paint's still there. Yeah. Because uh, we have great painters. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know if any of those volunteers are able. Still have to be some younger ones, but there, uh, there probably would be some folks that would. Walmart painted the last night. Do what? Walmart painted their employees painted the last night. Oh, I think I remember that. When, what year was it? No, two thousand. That's actually like pretty good. I had a good weekend and everything went well at the concert. Why are you getting that? Uh, yes. Did, I need to go close this. Yeah, I've got to do that okay. anyways. Okay. So, so all you have is for close this? Yes. Hey, what Mike Allen left us? Right in the phone. Yeah, phone. Yeah. You're up. Hey, I didn't come to talk about pickleball. I actually, I just come to thank you guys. I know 
this can be a, a very unthankful job, but I think Beaver Dam is doing a tremendous with the uh, uh, amphitheater, of course the courts up here, uh, the city staff, you go in there, they're always pleasant. Even the police chief is a pleasant person. <laughs> hey, uh -oh. and, and here's just some cookies. Well, I my appreciation for you guys. Uh, what you yeah, do? Whatever. Well, get food. Get fed. Right. I told the mayor I, the strawberry fest. Personally, I didn't care for it because I took my grandchildren, and I had four of them, and they like drove me crazy. <laughs> yeah. And it cost me about 150 dollars. So, yeah. but hey, thank you for what you do, and I appreciate it. Thank you. We don't thank get you. that very often. I, I need that. to say something about the strawberry festival too, since you brought it up. I thought this guy lost his mind when he was going to proceed with the strawberry festival with everything going on. But I was, oh Lord, but it was wonderful. And it went off pretty was good. So happy. Because there's some of the largest. I was like, I've got to tell Paul. I'm sorry, Paul, because I thought, oh Lord, he's lost it. <laughs> I just knew how crazy it was, and I just kept thinking, oh Lord, oh Lord, but I thought I'm going to be positive, I'm going to be positive, but I'm thinking, oh Lord, Paul. <laughs> it was, and people enjoyed it. The car show was huge, 363 cars. Yeah, and then that, then that black gray smoke that night, I mean, it was crazy. Did you bring Kevin Poots? No, I brought him for everybody. No, I just got him first. I haven't opened me up, Mike. Get out of one. Hey, I'll get out of here. That's all. Well, I'm no, doing. you're Th welcome. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. We appreciate it. I do want to entertain a motion to go into closed session. I make a motion to go into closed session. Second. <sighs> okay, we've got a motion to second to go back to open session. I think they're going to a motion on the uh, I make, make a motion. motion. Oh, go ahead. I make a motion that we allow Larry to hire full time and part time. Advertise. Advertise. Did we decide to stick with the one full full time and one yes. just part time? Yes, for now. Advertise. For now? Okay. I'll do one more, but I'll second. Say we have a motion and a second to further discussion. Those in favor saying how about aye. Uh -huh. Opposed same. Motion passes. Mm -hmm. Motion to adjourn. Okay. <laughs> 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 Thank you.